But um, I know I've bad. always paid with hard-earned money for my tickets, and I've enjoyed every note. <laughs> every single note. <laughs> because you, I know I have to. You've stayed there to the yes. very end, sat there waiting on the off chance they come back on for well, the eighth arc encore. Yeah. Brooms yeah. and asking for set lists. I'm I'm a hardened fan of music. Yeah, no, I, listen, I'm a hardened fan of music, well, but I'm also I'm also music. complacent. I'm also <laughs> privileged and complacent. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible state of affairs. Uh, okay, we thank you uh, for coming in, guys, and um, uh, it's uh, lovely to have you all here. Um, Jude is ill. We wish her well if she's listening. Ben's pressing the buttons and he's doing a great job. Why not press one now? Sam Cook, sadly no longer with us because he was shot dead. And uh, <laughs> another Saturday night from 1963. It's all about new music on Six Music. Oh, that could have been so smooth. It could have been an elegant trail there, plugging BBC Christmas drama. Sadly, wrong buttons were pressed, disaster <laughs> happened, mistakes were made, and I'll have to tell you all about BBC One Christmas drama. That's, that was going to be the sound of sleigh bells. This is how I imagined it would be. Yeah. Drama on BBC One this Christmas. It's Billy Piper here. I'm in some thing where I wear a period outfit. Oh, Daleks, you evil Daleks. <laughs> well, how are you? I thought you were dead. You're back again, you bastard. <laughs> um, and, um... Oh! Oh, hello! One of the EastEnders people. <laughs> it's ding, a thousand points. Thank you. That was uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> anyone uh, anyone going to have been the Extras Christmas special parody? Anyone no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Because that's, that was a BBC drama trail. All right? ah. that, you'll find that the BBC Extras uh, trail would be under comedy. So uh, we'll slag that off at a later date. <laughs> um, as I'm sure the press will. Should have put more work into it, but never mind. Um, okay, so uh, welcome back to the Steve Show, BBC Six Music with me, Steve. Merchant and my gang of cronies here, and uh, obviously the reason I have them here is not just to uh, laugh sycophantically, but also to suggest music to me, and uh, Super Posh Rufus, you're up first this week, a man who's endlessly seeking out new music, mm. and uh, you've tracked down a hot new talent. Uh, Steve, I'm going to take the other end of the new music stick, <laughs> uh, which is the one that says, uh, it's new to me, and actually, okay. I think you introduced uh, Warren Zevon, or Zevon, to me, not really, uh, not him in the flesh, he's dead now, sadly, uh, but this Cancer. is... Uh, Big C. Mm, this is, uh, I was reminded about this song the other day, I was walking through Chinatown, lots of office parties happening at the moment in London and Chinatown, and Lee Ho Fook is still there on Gerrard Street, proudly with the lyrics of Wervels of London on laminated paper, laminated paper in the oh, window, really? as it's mentioned in the chorus, uh, or in the second verse, and uh, anyway, with no further ado, this is Warren Zevon with Werewolves of London. Warren Zevon from the 70s and uh, Werewolves of London on the Steve Show BBC Six Music, the choice of uh, Rufus. Always a pleasure to hear that tune. Uh, I defy anyone to not like it. If they don't like it, don't listen to the show, all right? No, that's the way I feel. I think it's a cracking tune. Probably makes it into my top ten of uh, eccentric werewolf-based <laughs> pop tunes. <laughs> um, so, yes, here we are. And uh, I wanted to quickly ask you, Sammy, being a chick, you probably read Heat magazine religiously whilst filing your nails. Am I right? Um, yes, I, there was two years where I bought every edition solidly. Really? Do you yeah. still have them? Um, no, I threw them all in the bin at once because I tried to purge myself and be a better person. Good. So now I read it over other people's shoulders. Good, of course, like everyone else does. Um, do you know how much is paid for spotting a celebrity? Is it £200? Is it really? Is it? I don't know, I'm is asking. Is it £200 if you get a photo of them and it's the photo of the week? Because really? you can do, But you've got to take a sneaky shot, you can't get them to pose. Yeah, there's rules and regs, yeah. Seriously, because mm -hmm. I just saw, um, Fern Cotton having a coffee. So, I don't, how much can <laughs> I make for that? <laughs> Have they not got spotters, but you can send in photos? I'm sure there's I a thought, way it works. No, I thought that you could, anyone could send in a Because they could just spotted. make it up, though. That's why they've... If well, some of them are absurd. Yeah, spotted Fern Cotton having a coffee. I'm willing but to I'm, give you five pounds cash for that now. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've <laughs> seen people, I've seen pe that, that's the sort of thing that I always see in there. Some I'm pretty sure... Some walking down the street. I'm pretty sure Fern Cotton sends in pictures of herself to try and get the money. If it is 200 quid, who's got a camera phone now? Because we could split it. I was going to say, we can get a little scam going here, surely. Yeah. That would be uh, sensational. Because I know you. You tell me when you're going to be walking around a corner. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be hiding. Down Dad, the I'm that, walking around the corner that, now. That's the best way to plan this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I'll give you 5%. 5%? You're having a laugh. You'll oh, be lucky 10. if you get 10. Eh? 
I'm the big shot. <laughs> yeah, but I send it in, so they send me the money. Listen, you you come round to mine with a little invoice. I'll uh, send the money to you, internet transfer. If I had not clung onto the coattails of a more talented man, we would not even be able to do this scam. Well, yeah, <laughs> me right. too. But surely that's what Dan's doing now. Yes. Let the man have some peace. <laughs> of course. No, he doesn't hang on to my coattails. I pop him in my pocket. <laughs> when I, because I, um, Ricky always used to make the point that uh, he saw one in Heat magazine once, which was Johnny Depp spotted on the set of his new film. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's only a step away from Johnny Depp seen at home in yeah. his house <laughs> having a cup of tea. I mean, it's absurd. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know if anyone knows how much we could make. We could, uh, get some serious cash going there, because it's worth it Christmas, isn't it? It's always pricey time. Yeah. Um, so, uh, email in. You can always get in touch with us. 64046 is the text. Stephen.6music at bbc.co.uk. Here's a tune I've been wanting to play for some time. I don't know why I've never got round to it before. It was a seven inch that was released, uh, in 1999. And, uh, it's called Steely Dan, but it's by Jeff Farina. <laughs> I think that's a beautiful tune. Jeff Farina is the artist, and confusingly, the track is called Steely Dan. And as I say, it was available as a 7-inch in, um, 1999. I think you can still find it, uh, online if you want to, uh, send off maybe a postal order. And they will send you the 7-inch if you still have a record player, if you are cool and trendy enough. Uh, it's a Steve Show with Six Music. Uh, Sammy and I have just been, um, discussing quite a little money-making plan. I'm thinking of posting up my schedule online. And then, uh, you know, you wander around the streets, and you'll know where I'm going to be. As long as you promise <laughs> to uh, split the proceeds 50-50, um, by all means take a camera shot of me. Personally, don't, 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 don't just pub publish a schedule. People should need to subscribe to you. Good. So they get access to the schedule. Yeah. You generate more money. Um, but that money, of course, Dan, will be going to charity. Yes. Um... But you don't want to flood the market, Steve. This is a problem. You could end up like that Sarah Harding out of Girls Aloud. There'll just be pictures of you everywhere. People will lose interest. Um, I don't... Do you know what? I don't think this plan is going to work. <laughs> I don't... No. I, I don't think it's actually... I don't think I'm going to set up the website. But once, no. Um, once a week, you can have, like, every Wednesday, you'll have the nipple slip. Pictures? Yeah. yeah. The, up, the ups, yeah. upskirt. Up <laughs> Stevie upskirt. Yeah. Stevie upskirt, yeah. I'll tell you, I've, uh, the occasions I've run into the, the paparazzi... I mean, I don't want to, but some of them are absolute scum. <laughs> it's an absolute disgrace, and I do not know how they get away with it. Now it is just any old idiot with a camera yeah. can go out there in the middle of the night, and you come out of the, the, these events on the occasions I've been to them, and they are lying in the gutter, pretty much. They are the gutter press trying to take photos up people's skirts. I don't know what the rules are. I don't understand how that's allowed in if common society. If you didn't have a camera, or if you didn't... If you didn't pretend to be paparazzi, you, you wouldn't be allowed to do yeah, that, sure. No, but this is it. If you were in a tree, yeah. right, with a long lens camera, trying to take photos of someone topless on a beach, you'd be a pervert. But if, if I, you sent it to the paper, just doing your job. If I put a camera on my shoe and yeah. try and get, you know, I'm going up the escalators on the tube. <laughs> an I, excellent idea. Yeah, you know, I could get into big trouble <laughs> no, for No, you could. And I remember reading if a story years ago about a Japanese guy who got caught doing mm, that. Yeah. And, and, um, and we were wondering, we were speculating as to how he got caught. Maybe a flash went off <laughs> on his, on the tip of his shoe. But yeah, I mean, I just find it absolutely depraved. And, uh, there, there's me, uh, there's me hate Nithworth on the paparazzi. Uh, <laughs> coming next, immigration. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll be back after the news with, uh, tunes from the Pigeonhole, uh, plus, um, some other whatnot. Also featured in my top ten werewolf, wolfmen, uh, <laughs> compilation top ten list thing, it's, uh, Todd Rundring and Wolfman Jack from his, uh, eccentric 1972 album, Something Anything, and, uh, it's worth checking out if you've not heard that before, it's, uh, it's cracking, I think. Is, it's, that, uh, is, it, is it available, your ten favourite wolfman, <laughs> obscure, left field? I'll be popping them on the blog! <laughs> um, when we, when we start a blog, um, yes. if we can be uh, asked, which we can. Um, uh, do, do you write a blog? Anyone Me? No, 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 no. You've got, uh, there's a, there's a Rufus.com, isn't there? Uh, no, there's, um, there's various websites, uh, dedicated to various facets of my, um, personality. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, the, set up by you, or just uh, members of the family? Not some of them. Some of them have been. Uh, no, I, I don't, uh, record my daily activities on any sort of, uh, web-based blog. Pardon me one second, you just talk about yourselves, I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? When you know it's radio. This is, radio, this is on air radio gold. Yeah. I tell you, I don't know what's wrong with me. I mean, I know I've talked about it before, but I am a sickly child. <laughs> I mean, I've so got like another. No, shut up, Hart. Right, you've known me a long time. Was I this way when I was a child? Yeah. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> was I? Was I like this? You were endlessly moaning. Well, endlessly moaning, sure. But was I, did I always have a sniffle? Yeah. Did you, is that something you remember of me? <laughs> yeah, because it would always come to Friday night and everyone would be excited because it's Friday night and you go down the pub even though, you know, you may not have been legally old enough to go to the pub and everyone would be really excited and, you, you know, he'd phone you up and you go, Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. <sighs> What's the matter, Steve? 
a little bit of a sniffle. <laughs> and, and that's it. And it's like, well, we've all got sniffles. We're going to go out and enjoy ourselves. We're going to make the best of it. No, but because I have got a sniffle. You can hear this is the sniffle I probably had when I was 16. It's still here. It's been <laughs> perpetually hanging around. Oh. This is what's so frustrating is that, you know, I have a wheat bladder and I've got the constant <laughs> sniffle. And so I'm always going to the toilet. I'm always coming out sniffing. <laughs> I've got the life of a cocaine addict <laughs> without any of the hijinks and fun oh, of the evil drugs. Those guys it's, have uh, such a good time. <laughs> they certainly do. It's uh, so, so frustrating. Anyway, uh, welcome back to the Steve Show after the news and uh, whatnot and uh, Todd Rundrung. And um, anyway, each week we like to delve into the pigeonhole and uh, dig out some uh, forthcoming new releases. Here's um, a bunch of tunes which I think will be available in the new year. First up, 28th of January is the date for this uh, forthcoming single from Hot Chip. Now, we here on the show fully enjoyed and loved Shake a Fist, which was their um, sort of limited edition 12 inch and so this is uh, a single forthcoming from the album and it's called Ready for the Floor Shake a Fist I think may well be my single of the year uh, certainly when we come to our uh, new year retrospective of music of the year which uh, will be uh, the Sunday before new year and then that will certainly be featuring heavily uh, in that track listing but um, there we are that's a forthcoming single from Hot Chip Ready for the Floor as I say released on the 28th of January and taken from their album which is out at the very beginning of February and um, I have to say I normally like to sit on the fence in these cases, but um, I'm looking forward to that album enormously. Uh, Sammy, I feel that you're probably going to share that view. Oh yeah, I can't wait. And I'm, I'm going to see them in February as well, and I'm already getting excited because I know they're going to be ace. Did you pay for the ticket? You d I Ooh. did. I did, Steve, because <laughs> I am a decent person. Should have got in touch with me. I could have pulled some strings. Yeah, I could have, <laughs> but I'm happier being down with the people because I am one of the people. You seem to have that's separated yourself not, from the people. That's because you've not been in a VIP area. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a VIP area once, and they had sandwiches. Free sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> All really? right. Yes, they did. I could watch a concert, there wasn't beer swilling around my feet, there wasn't men pushing me in the face, knocking my glasses off, <laughs> I was having a lovely little bit of pork pie. <laughs> so, uh... So you've gone from sandwich to pork pie, what else do I'm not have? saying they, they had all sorts there. They had sausages on sticks. Maybe I should work that bit harder. Well, that's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is stick with me, kid. <laughs> okay. All right. I might take it all back. You're in a You'll rarefied see me world there. You'll in the VIP area screaming at me. Yeah. No, you'll, you'll be screaming at me once my fortunes have... Uh, <laughs> In 85, She Sells Sanctuary, The Cult. It's the Steve Show BBC Six Music. Who could have switched off the radio during that song? Surely no uh, indie fan worth uh, their salt who also has a soft spot for some uh, 80s goth music. Uh, welcome along to the show. Uh, it's a full house almost. Tiny Dan, of course, not here. He slipped through the cracks once again on the way to uh, Six Music. But we have uh, banker Harry there. Thank you for giving up another Sunday. We've got uh, Rufus, super posh. Hello, Steve. Oh, very nice. Particularly posh. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate that. And, of course, Sammy from the north. Hiya. All right. Oh, well, hiya. Yeah, why not? Go for it. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's big news as well because, uh, you know, um, it's an added thrill. We've got my parents here. A little round of applause for them. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Keep your effing and blinding down to a minimum, uh, <laughs> please, Mum, because you're on the radio. <laughs> and uh, what a massive thrill for them. Uh, you could see the glamour. <laughs> You can see the glamour that we uh, that we have at Six Music. Is it everything you could have dreamed of for your son? Unbelievable, isn't it? Come closer to the mic, Dad. It's more attractive and beautiful than Queen Mary, actually. Really? Yes. I've gone more than once. Yes. It's absolutely <laughs> marvellous. You, within seconds of being on the radio, you've mentioned the fact that you can afford to go on the Queen Mary. That's. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for your generosity, Steve. Yeah, well, no, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, so, uh, what? Well, uh, that's wonderful. And uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll get your opinion on other, uh, perhaps the new music as the show yeah. goes on. I know you're a big fan of the new music, Dad. You're endlessly seeking out. Is it true that when you listen to the show at home, you fade down during the records? <laughs> yeah. Some of them, yeah. Some of them. Okay. Well, never mind. Well, um, another round of applause for them. You know, oh, yeah. if it weren't for them, the world would have so would be would be a poorer place, wouldn't it? Because it would mean I didn't exist. And uh, heaven, imagine such a thing. <laughs> imagine such a horrible, gloomy, existential, dark world without uh, some of the joy we've brought into it. Um, so yes, uh, here we are. What 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 wonderful Christmas show, um, pre Christmas show this is. Um, uh, let's have some more music, Jude, before we um, find out how these people are and. and what's been going on. Play a record. That's a new solo project by Field Music's David Brewis and the band are called School of Language and the single is uh, called Rockist and uh, there we are. It will be out from their forthcoming